Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening to everyone who's coming on to Facebook, who's coming on to my Facebook Live. Today's Heart to Heart with Ethel Dakosha, and we are on the 31st of October. Yes, let me see. Correct. Yes, we are live. So today is, is the last Sunday of uh, October. October has been a very exciting uh, month for me. So many things, you know, uh, have um, come to birth. So, you know, um, there's, there's been a great energy within outside as well. I think uh, Malaysia also has seen this uh, a very kind of new, you know, feel to it with the uh, borders opening up, with the country having achieved a certain uh, level of you know, vaccination target that the government had put together. Um, so people are traveling within the country, outside of the country. So great energy. All the restaurants are buzzing with people. Uh, you know, the entrepreneurs are very happy that uh, somehow uh, the last quarter of the year looks very promising. And on that note, I think, you know, the energy of, of, of October also kind of, um, you know, seeped into me as well. And um, I got into the action of it of saying, okay, you know, of course, 2021 is ending also in, a, in just two months. But nevertheless, Heart to Heart has done fantastic. It has been going on for the last four months. I've had audiences coming from India, from Malaysia, from Goa, from Dubai, uh, from Bangladesh also, which is which is awesome for me because the idea is to put the word out, is to have you know great guests who uh, who uh, come share their their journey, share their conversations with me, and uh, to also kind of you know have all these audiences. We can also have a peek, you know, of uh, who they all, uh, who they're all about, what do they do, uh, what have been their achievements, uh, what is their life behind the scenes, so to say. So, welcome on this uh, heart to heart edition today, on the on the thirty first of October. I have a very prominent guest uh, with me uh, from Malaysia. Uh, there's some really good new things happening his side too and i can't wait to present it you know to all of you who are joining in who are logging on to my page uh, which is Atul Akash, sir, who will stay on to the conversations and we will have a very good interesting heart to heart to share so heart to heart as we all know uh, have been uh, our conversations about change uh, uh, change that creates influence change that creates impact and all the guests and their personalities on the show have all been, you know, uh, individuals of um, of change, impact, and influence. And um, therefore, I call it, you know, the uh, leadership soul series for the empowered individuals from all around the globe who live uh, who live their truth with integrity. Um, heart to heart has had a great association also happening since we launched it in June with uh, the Mac Clinic. Uh, and produced by Thinggeek Media. The MAC Clinic, uh, as we know, uh, is Malaysia's premier and pioneering uh, aesthetic institution uh, with, you know, uh, with um, uh, Dr. Hugh, uh, the medical director of the MAC Clinic, you know, having been uh, a partner on to these conversations that happen every Sunday. So welcome and uh, get on to my show, get on to my page. I'm looking forward to uh, you know, seeing all your comments that you are here. And uh, let me introduce my guest for today, who is uh, none, other, none other than uh, uh, James Vaughan, a very prominent personality in Malaysia and, very, and internationally known. He has some very exciting things to share with us today on uh, you know, new ventures that he's launching into. As I said, October has ushered in a, a, new, a new energy, you know, new beginnings. Um, all across uh, Malaysia and even in India too, with the travel also having opened up in India and travel also having opened up in Malaysia. So uh, Chef James Vaughan will join us very soon to talk about all his um, new ventures, uh, some very exciting things that are happening. I'm so excited because I'm also part of it. And, um, you know, uh, he has been painstakingly kind of working behind the scenes, putting the concept together, ideating. And we all know, you know, uh, when, when you're creating something new, uh, the kind of passion and energy that goes into it. So welcome on board uh, to this very interesting Heart to Heart session with us. And uh, uh, James Vaughan is backstage. So let me bring up, uh, bring him up in just a couple of minutes. But um, as we all know, 
um, you know, uh, James Wan's passion for food and cooking can be traced to his childhood, uh, you know, with his, with his grandmother being such a huge influence uh, on him. A lot of, of course, you know, uh, media stories are out there about uh, Chef James Wan. The internet is full of it. If you just, you know, just Google his name, all his stories and his passions and everything that he's been creating over a couple of years is all out there. So we know, uh, you know, his, um, um, where he comes from, you know, and what he has been doing uh, in Malaysia and, uh, you know, in Japan and in France to all his influences and experiences working with uh, Michelin star restaurants. Uh, what I found very interesting was uh, from medicine, how his, uh, you know, journey happened into uh, into uh, the, the culinary world and uh, you know medicine and, and and the fmb are two different universes but that's what he has been doing and um, he is joining me uh, live uh, from malaysia to talk about his new ventures and uh, let me just bring him here uh, to join us and of course you know chef james Wan will share all that uh, is up up his sleeve so to say uh, with our audiences too so stick on and uh, let's just have, uh, you know, Chef James Wan join in live. Good evening, James. Good evening. Hi. Hey. Hi, everybody. Good evening. Uh, Hi. James here from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Hi, Ethel. Hello. Hello. And good evening. How are you feeling today, James? Uh, a little bit tired, but being a Sunday is my only day of rest. So yes. I am quite excited to get on heart to heart and get some, you know, get some of the good vibes out there. Yes, correct. Thank you for making the time and thank you for uh, uh, giving me, you know, some time of your Sunday as well. And let's jump straight into it because I can see that uh, the chat boxes are opening up. People are uh, joining in and as the show ha continues, you know, you know, we'll have audiences joining from uh, here and there. So great. So, like I mentioned, uh, October has been a, a very new energy that we've seen in Malaysia with so many things that have, you know, like the borders are opening up, interstate travel has opened up, uh, India is opening up, Malaysia is opening up. And you have something very new to share, James, which is so exciting because uh, I have been part of the, you know, the behind the scenes, so to say. So can you tell us what is happening on your side? And how is this new venture, you know, called Meta, uh, that is happening? Um, Mark Zuckerberg also announced Meta from his side. So, what is Meta all about? How was it conceived? What's happening there? Can you can you share that with our audiences? Sure. I uh, I like to first say right. We met Meta at my end started way before Mark Zuckerberg decided that he was going to call himself Meta. So, uh, yes. but we are a little bit different. Our name, our company, our organization um, is called Meta, M-E-T-T-A. Uh, it's a Pali word uh, meaning loving kindness. So, um, as you know, I'm an avid Buddhist. I like to instill wherever I can my Buddhist practice into my my daily life, my commercial practice, my relationship, uh, and etc. So um, I think most Malaysian would have heard through the grapevine when I have decided to uh, end my chapter with Onfa. Um, Onfa Group um, was my birth child for the last six years, and uh, I've decided to basically leave uh, as there is a huge change um, globally in terms of where FMB is heading. Uh, the nature of the relationships with my partners have also changed. So I felt that it was actually better to part ways and everyone mm -hmm. get to actually focus on what they uh, prefer to do. Okay. So and the pandemic has been a blessing for me uh, in the sense that it has push and shove and really pull me forward rather than allowing me to stay very comfortable in my comfort zone. Hmm. Um, you know, the F&B industry in Malaysia is not huge. It's still in an infancy. It's budding, it's growing. Um, and being one of the, uh, so to say, 
older generations <laughs> in the industry. Um, we, we, we tend to become very comfortable and we decided, you know, we can get into our comfort zone and just uh, putt putt along each day and not feel too stressed about things. Yes. However, the pandemic has been uh, very precisely show that it's time for pivot. And this pivot was actually very pertinent because uh, I would like to think this would be my final pivot uh, for my career and for my, my business uh, by and large. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I, I've come to the point where I think that it's uh, more to life than just uh, chasing rainbows and the dreams. <laughs> um, I think that we need to actually spend some time, figure out mm -hmm. what is it that it's worthwhile for us and what is it that we like to leave behind if mm -hmm. when the day comes. Yes. So hence, meta is very important. I think meta is what is needed for this current space and time. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to create an organization that focus on the deliverance of meta, delivering of meta into the FMB industry uh, through a, a very different state of mind, as we would want to say. We want to, we want to create, uh, first of all, I like to bring like-minded people together into the organization. I want to encourage them, foster, uh, learn from each other, it's not just about me pushing them, but it's just as much as everyone pushing me and supporting me and supporting each other to develop new ideas. Mm. Um, what Meta as an organization is a brand building house for the F&B industry and the hospitality sector. Wow. So uh, it's a combination of, you know, I think more than 100 years of experience between my team and I uh, delivering into uh, put, uh, delivering into the ideation and uh, all sorts of things that we're doing, and I think Malaysia will see our first child Shin Labo, our first iteration of what Meta is about to deliver, our first uh, Japanese French fusion omakase restaurant. Correct. It's uh, very exciting. Uh, it's it's something that Malaysia haven't seen before, and I think it's something that Asia has not seen before. So, yeah. uh, and you've been part of the team. Yes. You know, we've yeah. been doing crazy works. Uh, in fact, yesterday we were still working on our, it was a Saturday <laughs> night, and we had to wait till evening till it's peach black before we yes. can shoot shoot Correct. the images that we want. And we're not going to talk about the images, but yes. I think it's going <laughs> to get people very excited when they see what we're doing yes um, yeah it's exciting it's it's all about coming together putting our ideas together and delivering it in a different format um and do what we all do best and as you know i've always been uh entrenched into the luxury niche market so that's like where it. we will stay uh we are also embarking on the retail market with some mm -hmm. of our luxury goods so yes, that's in just what we have got planned. Correct. Yes, and I'm so excited myself because, as you also mentioned, you know, I've been part of the behind the scenes, in front of the scenes. It's so new to me too, you know, right? To understand the entire cuisine, kind of the storytelling to it, and everything else. Very new, and therefore, uh, October has been a good jump, you know, a good jump in energy too. Uh, so, 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 where would you say, James? You know, um, as in, like, um, what is then the core business and the leadership philosophy of Meta? Because this is something very <clears throat> extraordinarily new as well. The core business of Meta, like as I said, is in mm. developing people, developing brands, right? Uh, and more importantly, when you put these two things together, we would like to say we develop an experience. So. Yes. For me, this is the meta universe. So within mm. our meta universe, we want to come up with uh, brands that are desirable and craveable. You have to crave and you want to be part of the brand. You know, and, and as you can see, as each day passes, we have our new new team members joining and they're just 
getting excited, you know, leaving their old comfortable job, coming into a brand new startup, but everyone is just so, so eager. Yes. The office yes. is bustling and, you know, and, and as you know, I have fostered a environment where she's very open. Mm. Um, I don't even have a room, you know, we all sit uh, uh, in front of each other. Correct. Um, only the big, only the big boss has the room and that's our CFO because he keeps the money. Um, but otherwise, yeah, it's, it's yeah. a very open domain. It's meant to let everybody speak freely, think freely, ideate freely, um, and to be liberated, to, to mm. not have fans and hem in into a, a corner and not being allowed to dream, yes. you know, and as, as in the entire month, we have been doing some great dreaming. Correct. We have been tasting some extraordinary, gorgeous ingredients and food, right? Yes. I mean, <laughs> there are a lot of people who are extremely jealous of us when we, uh, I know this is, sounds vulgar, but yeah, when we ran out of food and the only thing that we have in our fridge was caviar. Caviar. <laughs> so, <That's right. laughs> so and I, sorry folks, but that's the environment that we live in. We're not trying yes. to shove it into people's face, but that was the only thing that we had because that was what we were working with. So, yes. um, yeah, the, if you were to ask me what is my leadership style, I don't think it's yes. a style. But I think as the year has passed and as I has advanced a little, learned a little bit more in my uh, Buddhist practice, I like to think that I am more in a in a position where I do mm. and I hope people will follow. Mm. Right? Yes. I I'm not the type that would school somebody. I would share. Yes. I would um make things happen mm, and explain mm. the consequences when certain things are not done. Yes. Um, and as, as you said yourself, you know, you have had a bit of a shock to your culture and system because right. you, you have been in your comfort zone for a while and coming to, coming to the team and working behind the scene with me, you, you know, I yes. am very, a very driven person and right. a very, uh, task oriented. So yes. I like to see things get finished. Correct. So, and in a short period of time with a few of us, we have achieved so much. So it's very hard to actually um, say that this whole organization is about one person's leadership because it isn't, mm -hmm. it isn't that. And yes. as you know, in our mantra or our USP is great people, great brand, great experience. experience so. Yes. It essentially is great people empowered to build great brands, creating new experiences. So this is what we're here to do. All of mm. us are coming together, putting this little idea and magnifying it, amplifying it to something that we will all own. So it's not just me, yes. but all of us. Yeah. So, and I think that is what, you know, makes it so exciting because, uh, for me, uh, I've never worked, uh, you know, or seen the behind the scenes uh, in the F and B category. It's been it's been lifestyle, travel, fashion. That's all comfort zone because I've I've been doing years of that. And then to see what really actually kind of goes into building an F and B and hospitality brand is a, a different universe altogether, James. And I'm so grateful, you know, for that experience that uh, uh, you know that uh, I'm also being given, right? Because I, because I think. Um, like, you, like you rightly said, uh, today's, uh, today's um, teams are very organic. Uh, I think the pandemic has also kind of showed us that, you know, that uh, leadership styles are constantly evolving uh, because, uh, because it's a sign of the times. The old structures no longer hold good. Uh, people are now just not, um, how do you call it, just not faces. They are all contributing to growth, correct? And I see that, you know. Uh, happening with uh, with uh, with Meta as well. What would you say? Uh, you know, are its um, core operations? Are we just looking at Malaysia, or are we just looking? Are we looking at something even mu much more larger uh, beyond the country? Good question. 
as you know, even the structure of ownership is very different with Meta. Yes. So we have deliberately put together invitational uh, angel investors that come on board um, to that that are from different countries, different Correct. industries that are falling in love with our ideation and right. supporting us and allowing us to spread our wings and to evangelize the ideas outside of Malaysia. Mm. So our target countries that we will be going into, uh, believe it or not, India is a priority country for us. Yes. I love India uh, and we will be going to India. So I hope if we have India following this live session, mm. I hope mm. they hear us loud and clear. India, we are coming next year. Um, yes. Uh, we are going to go to China. We will be going into uh, Indonesia. Uh, mm. And we have been very successful in Indonesia in the past. So we will be setting up operations in Indonesia again. Um, and new emerging countries like Cambodia, Vietnam, you know. Yes. Um, Thailand is a maybe. Mm. So, uh, but these. Uh, the country of choice and the priority. Correct. Will Correct. we go to Europe? I don't know. That mm. is not in the books, but we'll see. You know, we have shareholders that are crazy and will push us to go into places that we never think we want to go. So, yeah. yeah. But that is in terms of spreading the, the tentacles and growing operations uh, for our restaurants. Mm. Um, uh, but for our retail, for sure, it'll be international. So it'll be based on a licensing model for the uh, retail products uh, up and coming. Okay. Wow. Um, because because I know for sure that the rest of the world, including Europe, is now really focused on Southeast Asia uh, as as markets. And of course, you know, India has uh, has numbers, has population, also has the. Uh, investment also has you know finances and also has good taste james because there, there is there is a a craving for you know for lifestyle products and therefore everybody else in the world wants you know a piece of the india pie today so yeah you're right you're absolutely right and and, and if you look even look at hollywood today there's so many you know asian faces that you see there's so many uh, you know um, asia or asian story concepts being built Right from superhero stories to you know the, the Squid Game is is almost a, a number one show on network on uh, Netflix today. So it says so much about the uh, South Asian markets uh, capturing you know global attention. So I, th I think you're you're just right there. You kind of five you know. Everything. Yeah, I I think we're riding. We've picked the right wave. We yes. are riding it hard. Uh, and hopefully with a bit of blessings, we will, we should be doing some amazing cartwheels and tricks very soon. Yes, I'm looking forward to it myself. In fact, in fact, I think the November, December, January is, you know, is so exciting uh, to kind of see everything just coming together and uh, being weaved together so beautifully, uh, like the way that you do. Uh, can you tell my audiences who are online with me and who will watch it again you know in replay because uh, you know heart to heart goes everywhere including linkedin and all the audiences that uh, come every sunday uh, to the show including malaysia tourism including the indian embassy that also watches it um what is the uh, um, two things to this question what is the brand philosophy of shin labo as 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 a restaurant concept and uh, from, from whatever that i've been seeing the design aesthetic is so exciting, James. I, I want to know, you know, where is it all coming from, and uh, what what is the the core philosophy of Shinlabo, all the brands that are coming uh, together with it, and of course, you know, the design looks fabulous from what I've seen so far. Can you share that with me? First of all, Shinlabo, the name itself is a fusion of two language, Shin. Is the Japanese word for new or neo. Um, labo is the short form for laboratory for both French and Japanese. Yes. So the name itself is the new 
the new laboratory. Why so? Is because it's a lot about experimentation.、Mm. It's a lot about creating. It's a lot about、uh, discovery. So we want to create a space where it evokes、uh, the next dimension. We want to create a space that is not, not the typical F and B space where you go in and you know what to do. Yes. So when you come in, we want you to not know what to do, but we want you to just, one for a better word, succumb to the environment, succumb to the concept, and、mm. let let the whole concept、uh, lead you through the evening, so that you. May discover parts of yourself that you never thought you would ever、uh, venture into. Well, what、yes. am I talking about? Number one, often we don't like to taste, or we say we don't like to eat a certain ingredient, is、mm. because we had a bad experience. Correct.、So、it's not. It's not always necessarily vulgar, but bad experience. Now we put、mm. aside allergy, right? But otherwise,、yes. there are a lot of beautiful things that we are afraid to try. So we、mm. would like to create an environment where we put things to you, created by nature,、um, in a manner that you have not seen before.、Mm. We want to bring back the rudimentary cooking method with raw fire, right、yes. in front of you. Now, cooking is no longer hidden in the kitchen, and you、mm. you you try to figure out what is the what what is the whole uh, we, uh, weaving of magic behind it. No, it's going to be right in front of you. You're going to be center stage. You're going to be feeling your you bought the best ticket in the house, right? Yes. Yes.、Uh, more importantly, we're talking about creating a space where we are able to achieve transcendental dining experience. And、mm. Out of this world dining experience, I love we're talking、word. about. We're talking about you know,、um, respecting、um, again what Mother Nature has to offer. Respecting yes. culture, re- yes. respecting the blurring of boundaries between、uh, cultures and diversity,、mm. uh, fusing and coming together of. Um, you know the tr-、uh, coming together the the true essence of what being Malaysian is the confluence、yes. of culture diversity all that taking that Malaysian spirit infusing it into this new、uh, cuisine method that I'm creating and as、mm. you know as you rightfully say you know every little detail has not been left unattended、Correct. and as you know. I always like to say, we are a summation of all little great details. So、yes. there's no one detail is not important.、Uh, I don't want to let too many cats out of the bag. As you know, we have <laughs> a lot, a lot, a lot of things that we can share. But、yes. I would like to leave it to the media team and the communication team to share out as when they deem fit some of the、yes. people that we're working with. Uh, and these are some super big brands that have come on board to, you know, put their weight and lean lean onto us to deliver、yes. something amazing. Correct. What I find, you know, very very exceptional is that the the audience,、uh, you know, the audience or the or the guest、uh, who is、uh, who will sit down, you know, to be you know to kind of experience a whole、uh, dining exploration, not only just of the food but of of himself or herself. Becomes participative in the process, like you said. Everything is live. Everything is in front of you. Everything is done with your participation, James. And I think that is that is the next level of actually of dining, right? Because、um, yes, everything happens, you know, <clears throat> in some hidden space, and then it's presented to you. But、uh, what what I'm also kind of very looking forward to, you know, as as a writer,、uh, is to kind of actually see. Creation happening in front of me, that you know, that all my senses also become part of it. I think that is so exciting,、uh, and、um, yeah, that is so exciting to be to be. That is the next dimensional. That's、yeah. the next dimensional taste 
that I need to nourish in a person when they come to dine. Because when they can understand the process and they mm. see the process, things will, their little fear in certain ingredients that they're not too sure with will be Correct. relieved, you know, because yes. they see it, oh, it's not so scary after all. Oh, that's mm -hmm. where it's from. Oh, this is what, it, this is how it uh, organically look like, you know, before it's been uh, transformed and manipulated. So, right. and I think the importance of what we're about to create actually stem from my childhood memories of how each day when I come home and I can get that whiff of the beautiful mm -hmm. food that my snack that my grandmother is, you know, whipping up for me when I just hop off the school bus and I can already smell it. And it's, and my friends would always eagerly ask me, what do you had? What do you had? Can you yeah. bring some for me tomorrow? You know, mm. I, I was very blessed as a child, you know, so, uh, and that's exactly the same thing that I want my guests to feel, you know, to, yes. to, to basically get that whiff and it's like that antici anticipation, the eagerness yeah. to put it in the mouth, you know, I think that is a great journey because that that itself is nourishment. Hmm. Yeah. So I found I found this particular thing which I did not know uh, earlier is that uh, you were actually you know uh, going to become uh, going to be a doctor, you know, because you were part of uh, you were part uh, or uh, um, to medicine uh, <laughs> as you told me. Yeah, correct. And then the entire transition, it's it's like a it's like a shift completely. You know, like like the brain being uh, you know twisted inside and put the other way, from medicine to the entire you know culinary world, James. How did that happen? And uh, uh, you know, it almost feels like somehow Shinabu will now become a space, like you said, you know, uh, uh, where you will be the doctor, <laughs> literally experimenting and creating you know experiments. How did that shift happen in such an early life? <laughs> well, I think I. What happened was is that I left the country very early, uh, very young, because uh, I was a bit accelerated in my studies. Mm -hmm. So I uh, attended university quite at an early age. So not knowing what to do, not know, we're not not really figuring out what is it that I want in my future. I just right. being Asian, we just pick whatever is the most difficult, and I think we will do good at it. You know, so. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's right. how we came about, <laughs> you know, we picked the, the, the one that everybody thinks that would be the, the money spinner. But anyway, mm. uh, my love for food uh, started at university. Uh, okay. I, I used to cook for my housemate, my college mates, you know, uh, when during university, people would go on their summer vacation. I would actually yes. go and learn how to cook. Mm, okay. So. And that was just that. And after after uni, I just felt that the best thing for me was to pursue yes. something that I am passionate about. And I'm very mm -hmm. blessed that um, I had very supportive family. I was going to ask you that. Yes. 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 And incidentally, yes. I'm not the only one that, that is doing it because, as you know, I've got a younger brother yes, who so also <laughs> studied economics comics in in, in 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 uk as well and you know and now he's also in fmb so yeah. and his his business is budding so yeah um we we hope we were joking and the other day we were saying that oh, i hope our kids and all not going to do the same thing because you know all this unnecessary studying might be a waste of time if they continue to do all this kind of food work yeah but anyway <laughs> every, everyone has a choice so passion Correct. is number one. Passion is number one, which reminds me of when I was post graduating in, in uh, economics and I had no clue. My, my father thought I was very confused. I, th I think I was at that particular time. And then, you know, from, from being a post graduate in economics to the to media, which is again a complete jump. But um, the universe, I think the universe calls us and then we respond and I'm sure you know, you did the same thing too. And your brother did the same thing as well. <laughs> wow. I'm so, I'm so glad. Yeah, um, yeah I, I can see a lot of, you know, comments coming on to the show as well. Um, because uh, 
People have not known, oh, you know. Check this one yes. out. <laughs> and my sister, my hmm. sister, uh, was the only one that went to. Uh, I think she did uh, hotel management, hotel okay. management in Australia. And guess what she's doing now? I she's the yoga no master. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. Wow. And, and she's very good. She's very, very good, you know. She wow. travels the beach. So, um, yeah. So, there you go. Yeah. I, I hope I hope kids today are... Oh, the one. Yes. Oh, yeah. Like, you know, that was, that was my title when I... Uh, title of my blog when I first met you. Uh, the Power of One. I hope, you know, kids today uh, don't kind of really go the, the same trajectory that we went. And just kind of, you know, figure out what they want to do and just, you know, get into uh, doing that. Which uh, which brings me to my next question, James, and, and I know that you feel very passionate about about this as well. Um, I've been in, in Malaysia now for the, for the last what, sixteen months, and I've seen, as I said, you know, my first my first encounters with the FMB industry has has been very close uh, because uh, I think I kind of just stepped into it and you know discovered it for myself. Um, what are your expectations from the uh, FMB industry? Um, uh, in Malaysia, in particular, to your new brands and globally, you know, globally uh, to what uh, the world will perceive uh, your brands in terms of growth support. To be honest, I don't have an expectation. Mm -hmm. I've learned to leave expectation behind because I think if you expect something, then you're just setting yourself up for disappointment. So okay. this time around, we decided, uh, the team, myself, my shareholders, we have cognizantly decided that we need to create something that people would find appealing, hmm. that accessible, that is a bit different. And we're not here to create a phase or a fad. I don't believe in fads, as you know, yes. uh, being in the luxury category for the longest time we cannot be a fad yes hence we're building a brand we're anchoring mm -hmm. down we are creating a brand presence that would be endearing like i said craveable something mm -hmm. that people would aspire to uh, if they yes. don't have the opportunity you know Correct. so Correct. we like to make things uh, demystify some of the myth and legend within the industry sector. Mm -hmm. If you ask me in terms of economics, um, I believe there are more money in circulation in terms of the super rich. They okay. are becoming more and more domestically uh, grounded. So they are looking for more uh, avenues and uh, possibility to actually um, one for a better word, share their wealth. Um, mm. So mm. Okay. we need to create that opportunity for them. Uh, time and time and time again, everybody keep asking me, how is it that you're so daring to charge the kind of, you know, menu pricing that you charge? You're crazy. Right. This is Malaysia. They're not going to bite. But yes. then time and time again, I prove them wrong. It's because okay. I believe in creating the need. Not, not creating a fad or creating something good for picture. So, mm -hmm. uh, and as you know, when you've done the, you know, the behind the scenes with me, I want every plate to look exactly how I shoot them for a photograph. Yes. No false, ex no false photography, no false uh, expectation, and no false wording to say for illustration purposes. We mm. are professional. Yes. We deliver to the expectation at minimum. Correct. And, and I at know you do. I've, yeah, I've seen your work. Yeah. yeah. I've seen your work and myself. At par, at par for Meta, we are here to exceed expectation. Uh, we are here to create and deliver new experiences. Mm, so I'm not reliant on. Uh, the industry to to give me success. Mm. I'm relying on the support of my team. 
support of my shareholders, support of my uh, uh, loyal fans to come on a journey with us, you know. Yes. Um, and each week, as you know, every Monday when I have my management meeting, it's, it's about taking stock about uh, what we have achieved the week before. Yes. Uh, and I'm glad for the last four weeks, we have never needed to repeat and say, okay, let's move the goalposts. Uh, that's been delayed. So mm. I'm not a person that shift goalposts. I like to set it down and achieve and move, you know? Uh, and yes. if we can't, we re refocus and find out, figure out what is it that needs to be sh is shifted. Because time and time again, people are expecting the world to give to us. Mm. The big yeah. shift for me is I ask myself, what can I offer the world? Correct. So we are creating brands that we are offering to others uh, an opportunity to come uh, and um, experience this mm. new thing that we're creating. Hmm. So interesting, James. So, uh, you know, uh, as I said, I've, I'm, I'm closely, you know, behind the scenes with you. And I see your avatars both as, as a founder and as well as as well as a chef. And, and I think in both the spaces, you, you are the creator there. You know, very passionately involved uh, in terms of direction, uh, you know, aspiration and execution. And as I said, for me also, it is very interesting to also watch you and learn. And uh, on that note, we have, I'm going to bring online two of our guests who are here and comments. Dr. Hugh is online. He says, hi, Ethel and James. Hi, Dr. Hugh. <laughs> Thank you. For hi, Doc. Oh, FYI, I am an ambassador for Mac Clinic as well. Yes, that's so right. So this face is his doing. <laughs> that is so true and correct. Thank you, Dr. Hugh, for being online. I have Minnie from Love One is also here who's saying greetings from Love One. And thanks for the nice show, Ethel. Minnie, thank you. Uh, as, I, as I said, and I keep saying, uh, Malaysia is a gold mine of ingredients. And uh, of course, you know, it has been my um, exploration also, uh, you know, uh, in, in the course of my own writing to also figure out, get personal with Malaysia ingredients. And you, James, you're bringing Malaysia ingredients and French, you know, sensibilities and Japanese cultural sensibilities, you know, and cuisine sensibilities together. How, how do you see that working out? I mean, that's it, the three diverse worlds, you know, on, on one path. But well, this is essentially who I am, <laughs> you know, I am trying to put my experiences that I have um, personally gone through and put it on a plate and tell my story. Um, would it be a 100% hit every single time? Maybe not, but hey, we got to try. Yeah. And we'll keep trying until we find that sweet spot. But I know through this period of trialing and experimentation, we're going to discover some really interesting stuff. So Malaysia is full of beautiful tropical bounties and you know, fauna. The French yeah. have championed the savoir-faire of uh, dining and, and you know, savoir-faire as in the know-how, how, how mm. to, to, to express uh, as its best uh, 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 a very essential part of life and to yes. make it so important and make it into a ceremony which we call dining. The mm. Japanese are so precise, so, so respectful of the nature and what nature has to offer and the master of simplicity the master of distillation so imagine when you put all these three actors together mm. you're going to come up with something almost religious like yes. hence the brief to the architect built me a temple built me a temple for food built me wow. a temple where our diners and our guests can come in to experience a new transcendental experience. Mm, correct. And so much so of breath, that's breath where breath we are going. Uh, you know, so I, so I get a, I get a lovely feeling of balance, of uh, self-exploration, of um, 
almost uh, you know almost almost spirituality james and you, you are you know very spiritually inclined you know and driven yourself uh, so i i myself can't wait you know uh, for for 2022 to kind of happen and to see it all unfolding you know in real terms and to experience all these three diverse um, uh, sensibilities coming together in union and have a very and have a very spiritual food experience because you know that's what i feel um, uh, I, i i can fight best about as well so awesome this is really awesome to my audiences uh, you know uh, we have so much coming up uh, and when you when you watch this uh, this show in replay i really want you to share it with with your friends across malaysia uh, and of course you know my friends in india will also do it because i know uh, india is on your radar james uh, you know and, and in a very big way uh, i think india has also appealed to you greatly how do you see india you know kind of you know coming together in your cuisine explorations james oh as you know we have uh hmm. should i talk about it or should i not talk about it i i don't think you should um, kind of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah we have yeah. a very big project up and coming for india um mm. and it's going to allow me to explore india in a very different way uh and we hope to the documentation of this process we will um find something that will be hard, uh, thoroughly appealing for our indian uh family and friends um yes. and that they will want to welcome the madness of meta and the meta mm-hmm. group to india um because we are about to create some wave in india very soon yes Yes, uh, and I, I know and I'm weighed, know... but there's so many things that we <laughs> we are not allowed because of NDAs and what not that we have all bound to yes. confidentiality. Yes. But trust me, the only thing I can tell you is Chin Labo in Malaysia will open its door officially on the 20th of January 2022, and India, I might see you in May in 2022. Yes, so James has put uh, I think let some cats out of the bag today. which uh, which i'm so glad you know that uh, you have been so like the show we call the show is heart to heart so the idea is to kind of you know create that nice uh, intimate energy uh, with with the guests and with the audience as well and i'm so thankful to you for uh, sharing a lot about you know your future um your future direction uh, this entire birth process that, that also that you are currently you know uh, in the middle of not only just for yourself you know as as uh, as a chef but also uh, in your avatar as founder where do you see 2022 james you know taking you uh, in, in this entire direction that you've set yourself on in mm. i think it's time to call christine and ask her for my diary <laughs> <laughs> this is a ins- this is an inside joke um <laughs> my my days and weeks are now we were planning two weeks ahead and I, my my team would lovingly tell you even though we are sitting in the open office but we don't really get to talk yes. because i'm always in meetings um 2022 i think is going to fly by us in a blink of an eye mm. uh we have just so much to show and tell and share we are busting with things to share we have so much excitement coming up so uh i think it's going to be a great year i think it's going to be a year of rebirth a year of <clears throat> great growth um a year of personal leadership as you know i empower each and every one in the team uh all of every single one uh of them have been told what is it that their future should look like where i hope they will end up where okay. i feel they will pay their part in the organization so i did not bu- i did not build something for myself mm. in all true honesty i if you see it through you know that each and every one has been told and sat down one on one with me on the personal journey with meta yes. so i have built something for everyone not myself because the essence of true leadership is 
the show goes on with or without me. Uh, and I believe in that. I believe in that it is my duty and my responsibility to make sure that the platform is sound, is solid, the foundations mm. are permanent, so that each and every one steps onto it, can propel, you know, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. and do the leaps and the cartwheels. So this is, this is what 2022 is going to be. Solid foundation, announcement of one idea after another, coming Correct. of birth of great brands. Um, my, I think next year, personally, there will be a bit more media work for myself uh, mm. that is coming up. So hopefully that my friends and fans will uh, please take note and, you know, sign up to my Chef James One Facebook, Facebook and Instagram because there will be a lot of mini series coming up. Uh, both online and on hopefully TV internationally very soon. So that's where we're going. Yeah, it's so exciting, right? I mean, uh, you know, I was telling my mom yesterday when my mom called me up to kind of check on me, check on me. What, you have, what you've been doing, you haven't kind of, you know, got in touch with me. So I said, I'm, I'm busy. Um, you know, a lot of things happen. <laughs> I said, okay, okay. As long as you're safe, you know, and you're, you know, you're having fun. So yeah, yeah. 2022 is, uh, is 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 a good year. It's, it, I think it's it's a very it's a very new year, uh, new beginnings for my, for me too. And as I said, James, you know, it's a huge opportunity for me as well uh, to know you so closely, to be learning from you as well. And uh, Sh Chef Yogi is also online, and he he also has a comment saying, "Hey, he says India without an Indian." <laughs> oh no no no! We are bringing that Indian with us. <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. Don't worry, uh, Yogi. Don't worry. There's, there's an Indian here already. <laughs> and yes, you know, we haven't forgotten <laughs> about you. You're very much there, very much there, you know, in, in, on our radar too. So, yeah, I'm so glad you're here online and you've joined in. You know, as I said, there's so much to do with Malaysia and India and, of course, in India too. And uh, uh, James, I'm so glad that you made the time uh, today to share so much of information and so much of you know, close to heart uh, uh, things that, that you've been working on with my audiences. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm uh, grateful for the, for the participation that is happening, uh, you know, with, with us also here. And uh, as I said, you know, uh, people in India are very excited because yes, uh, you know, the word has gone out in India about, you know, 2022 and what will happen. And of course, Goa also expects you to be there because that's home. That's home ground. That's home ground for us completely. So you know, uh, Goa will, will welcome. Yeah, you. I I will love to go to Goa. I will yeah, love Goa to will go be to fun. Goa. Goa will be fun. Yeah. In fact, this the same video you know is going to some very core people in Goa as well, who told me you know that uh, we want to see you know what you're talking about. So Goa is home, and of course Malaysia is home. Uh, you know, and your home, and of course, Yogi is home, Dr. Hugh is home. So I'm so glad, you know, that this lovely support system that is uh, that, that has been built around us. And uh, you have you have great fans and you have great well wishers, James. And I'm sure you know that too, who are also rooting, you know, rooting for this new, new kind of, you know, hats that you that you are wearing. And the team is rooting for you too. On that note, on that very happy, positive note, I should say thank you to you so much for making the time because I know that we had a shoot last night. You know, it's Sunday, it's tiring, it's early morning on Monday back again. Uh, but thank you so much for making the time on sharing uh, a very intimate story uh, with, uh, with Heart to Heart. And uh, of course, you know, you have my support. You know that it goes without saying. And uh, let's do this, James. Let's do this. Let us really do this. Yes, let's create. Let's create the meta universe and spread yes. the meta around. Correct. Good night, and everybody, and stay tuned. Go like my page. Uh, click me as friend and follow, and we will. More announcement is to come. So yes. thank you and good night, everybody. Thanks, Apple. Thank you, James. Thank you so much. I'll see you soon. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. To everyone who's been online with us and has who's been you know who have been part of this conversation, I think this this was this was a real heart to heart 
with uh, uh, James Wan because uh, I've been seeing so much development happening in October with, with you know with him uh, launching a new organization called Meta, uh, you know, and um, uh, putting all these ideas together. For me, it has been such an exciting you know journey to kind of also see this uh, this side of him and his new avatar. You will have lots more happening, uh, you know, uh, and lots more announcements that will also happen around this journey. Thank you so much for being uh, part of today's uh, edition of Heart to Heart, which closes the month of October. I, th I think the flavor is meta because even Mark Zuckerberg announced, you know, the word meta, you know, with, with his own new avatar also happening around this beautiful word, you know, word which I which I love, which is universal love, uh, you know, in in in, in the Buddhist philosophy. So on that note, thank you to all my audiences who have joined me live, who have shared their thoughts, you know, um, with us, who will also watch this entire you know, session of Heart to Heart live everywhere uh, as, as we share it. Um, November is, is, a, is a great month. It's a, you know, it's, it's a very dynamic month uh, happening for us in India as well as in Malaysia. Because you know, as I said, you know, uh, things have opened up, and uh, there's a great there's a great excitement in the market as well. So, let's just hope that all auspicious things and new things and new beginnings, you know, uh, uh, are ushered into the month of November. To our friends and to our collaborators, thank you so much for your faith. To the Back Clinic for being such a strong uh, association partner with Heart to Heart, thank you so much. I am honored and blessed to have your your partnership. To Dr. Hugh, you know, thank you for uh, you know your own leadership as well uh, into how we all kind of you know co-create together, and um, let's just have this entire feeling of meta, you know, which is universal love put out there to the world because what we put out there comes back to us, you know, the universal law of uh, the universe. So thank you, great love going to everyone uh, for tuning into this edition of Heart to Heart with Etel Nakosha. Uh, my Leadership Soul series, which, which presents uh, empowered individuals who live for their own truth with integrity. Thank you so much for being part of uh, tonight's show. Uh, bless you. Thank you. I love you. And see you next Sunday. Good night.